Okay, um, obviously, you all heard about Lamar Jackson's situation. The Ravens did the non-exclusive franchise tag. Um, with that, that's $32.4 million charged against the cap, whether he signed the tender or not. Lamar can negotiate with other teams starting next Monday. I believe it's March the 15th. Ravens will have five days to match the other team. Also, July the 17th is the deadline for extensions with the Ravens. That, oh man, I, <sighs> there was big talks about the Falcons, and then they have a report right after the Ravens um, put that out there, and uh, Scheffler put that out there. They put out the Falcons are not interested. I don't believe none of that stuff. But um, I think the Ravens are just taking a bet right now. They're taking a bet with Lamar. Or they agreeing with Lamar and saying, I believe Lamar could possibly be saying, there's other teams that will give me close to the amount or the amount that I want. Ravens, on the other hand, is saying this is the best amount you could get. And Lamar is like, well, let's see. So now they're going to see. And it's, it's an up and down thing right now. It's an up and down thing. And I'm just like, whatever. I'm just like, really? I'm just like, whatever. They should have, they had... They could have negotiated the contract so long ago. They were doing their thing with being stubborn and being hard headed. So that is just like, man, whatever. Uh, I don't want Lamar to go, obviously. But if the Ravens don't <clears throat> want to keep it real and be real with themselves and say, yes. We messed up. Yes, we should have did this long time ago. Then they brought it on themselves. I'm still root for my Ravens, but like I said in other videos, if Lamar does go to another team and when he does play against the Ravens, on that video and on that day, I will be full in support of Lamar because this don't make no sense. They should not be doing this man like that. I seen a video when he was drafted. He said they're going to get all of me. I'm going to give the Ravens organization all of me. And he has been doing it for five years now. He has given his all when the Ravens themselves haven't even given him their all. You continually see Josh Allen get help. They talking about um, the Bills might be trying to get uh, um, what's the boy with the Titans, the running back, Derrick Henry. They getting him. They child. They might be trying to get him because he might be a free agent. I might be trying to trade for him. So it's only one thing the Ravens could do to make this right. Get a man his money. Start cutting. Start cutting these. Pat record. Gotta go. Sorry. You gotta go. You shouldn't be getting paid like a tight end. You gotta go. Some of these. Uh, try to rework some of these defensive players' contracts. There's no reason the Ravens should have a Lamar Jackson and be 32nd. And offense, offensive cap cash, how much they spent on the offense. It, it, it don't make no sense. But we shall see. Let's see if they're going to sit there and negotiate with Lamar or they're going to be stupid and let it go and be a top three team in the NFL where a lot of players will not want to play with the Ravens because they don't want to pay offensive people. But we shall see. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the share. Everybody stay safe.
And also, before I end this video, I want to also add, the exclusive tag would have been a lot more money, so that shows you how cheap they are with the non-exclusive. But also, like I said, it can be a negotiation tactic. We shall see who's going to win. Whose poker face is going to stay up the longest.